Hi everyone and welcome to Daily Scooby News. Now do you remember our old show called Weird Wednesday? Because today's story really does belong in that show. Roll VT! Hey guys and welcome to this week's Weird Wednesday. In today's show we're going to be talking about... What are we doing? Dead seals. Dead seals. Um, underwater grannies. Und no, underwater, yeah, free diving grannies. Free diving grannies. Underwater and, uh, greenhouses. greenhouses. And I'm back. Yeah, Sean's back. Okay, so rather than talking about the depressing news that is COVID-19, we're going to talk about the new study that's just been published in the Journey of Biology Letters. So researcher Zachary Graham has an interest in sexual selection, and he says, as an evolutionary biologist, I try to understand why some animals have these bizarre traits and why some don't. That sounds pretty, pretty easy, pretty, pretty obvious question and a very good way to research things. So his new paper is all about narwhals and their tusks. Zachary got the data from 245 male narwhal tusks that have been collected over 35 years. Analyzing these tusks, they found out that a male narwhal tusk ranges from 1.5 to 8.2 feet in length. Other than the tusks, all narwhals are said to be, uh, you know, a similar body size of what they studied. Uh, it is known that these tusks are used as weapons to battle other male narwhals, and that the new research has found out why they fight and why some tusks are bigger than others. Okay, so the male tusk is actually a sexual signal for female narwhals, and the uh, bigger the tusk, the more chances of them mating. Yes, yeah, so it really does mean the. Yeah, yeah, size does does matter. Anyway, so tusks uh, or tusking, should I say, or scarring is where two male narwhals rub tusks in a battle uh, and examples of tusking impaled into the skulls during aggressive behavior were found. So Zachary said, based on the disproportionate growth and the large variation in tusk length, we found we provided the best evidence to date that narwhal tusks are indeed sexually selected. Okay, so researchers wrote in the study as well, by combining our results on tusk scaling with known material properties of the tusk, we suggest that the narwhal tusk is a sexual selected si uh, signal that is issued, or that is used, sorry, during male to male contests. So yeah, I guess to a narwhal, size really does matter. Anyway, swiftly moving on. So yeah, I guess it is cool, but I'm surprised that this has only just been found out now. Uh, but on the other hand, you know, there are people out there that think narwhals don't exist. So yeah, you know, it's a balancing act, I guess. So would you love to be a part of this research study in tusks? Was the research actually really needed? Let's have a chat about this in the comments below. Thanks for watching. And as always, stay classy scuba divers. But most importantly, everyone watching this, please say stafe. No, say stay. Say, no. Stay safe. Yes. First try, guys. By the way, I'm filming this all by myself. I'm in an empty studio. It's just me. I'm getting lonely. Send cookies. If divers have decided to go at diving, obviously, having considered their general health, carefully analyzed each individual's personality or potential for exposure, and the, you know, their care and concern for their relatives, they should not be subjected to adverse criticism for their decision. Uh, since the travel bans have come across into place, BZAC 